Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. Today is such a beautiful day, and I feel optimistic and focused. I hope you have a great day. If you're here for the first time, I would be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. Thank you for sharing. Welcome to week 18. Welcome to day 120. Welcome to the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day, authored by Jefferson Otenbara Inbi. Today's Bible verse for the sure word for today is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 54, reading verse 4. We are reading from the King James Version. Quote. Behold, God is mine helper, the Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Unquote. The thoughts on the sure word for today's Bible verse of the day. The Lord is your helper. It would help if you always remembered this every moment, so you do not take matters into your hands. When God said the battle belonged to him, he meant it. God does not want you to fight for him. He does not want you to assist him. Stay clear of the battle and allow God to do his thing. God does not need your input in any way or form. He does not want you to stand in the gap for him. God does not want you to fast for him. Since the battle is the Lord's, all he wants from you is to obey and stay clear. Obey is better than sacrifice. You need to trust God to handle matters for you. The stories in the Bible are real. These stories are meant to encourage you and show you the way when you face any challenge in life. David was a man that had lots of enemies. He did not go around creating enemies. Sometimes the life of David is a mess. He understood his life was messed up and knew he needed God more than ever to reign and become successful. He has a large army, yet he depends on God. David recognized that God was his helper. He refused to put his hope, trust and aspirations on other human beings. He has been severely disappointed by humans. His heart was after the Lord. God will never disappoint him. So, David was anointed by Samuel to become king when he was a teenager, possibly between the ages of 10 to 15. He became king when he was 30 years old. Despite the fact God instructed Samuel to anoint David, it took several years for David to ascend to the throne. Why is this so? David spent all his time waiting, not doubting or criticizing God. David knew the drill when it came to God. David knew that those that wait on the Lord would renew their strength. David's attitude made God love him more. The heart of David was the main reason God loved him beyond description. David had to wait for something like 15 years from the time Samuel first anointed him to the time he became king over Judah. It was another seven years before David was anointed king over all of Israel. It means David waited over 20 years of his life to be made king. How David handled this for more than two decades was terrific. It is what we need to learn to trust God enough to let go and let God. David knew how to wait on the Lord. When Samuel has David summoned and anoints him, David must wonder how long it will be before he becomes king. The answer is that it is much longer than he imagines and much more difficult. You are increasingly finding it difficult to wait on the Lord. It is not easy to wait on the Lord. Sometimes it is impossible to wait on the Lord. The biggest reason you find it so difficult to wait on the Lord is that you want things to happen in your timing, according to your plans. But God doesn't operate on your schedules. Waiting on God is never easy, but we wait in the knowledge that God knows our situation, He cares for our needs, and He is good to the end. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. David was constantly attacked. He knows that his only means of survival is to depend on the Lord. David was not missing his word when he said behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the sustainer of my soul. Here you hear David declaring his faith in the Lord. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
We walk by faith and not by sight. David's trusting God in this psalm exemplifies the secure faith we all desire to develop in our Christian walk. However, it is not easy to be encompassed by difficulties and dangers and still stand firm on the promises of God. Trust in the Lord with all your might. God will direct your path. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you for your word and the encouragement it gives, as well as the lessons I can learn from David, who trusted your word and stood firm on your promises, even when being hotly pursued by evil, violent men who sought to destroy him. I praise you that you are my God, my helper, and the sustainer of my soul. Keep me from allowing the stresses and strains of life to doubt your word, and keep my feet in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he sent me to heal the brokenhearted, preach deliverance to the captives, and recover sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord sends me into the world to influence it, to become a breadwinner of the earth's inhabitants. To be a blessing to all the families of the earth because I am created for dominion, and I am, by the word of truth, working in the light of God, being able to manifest the dominion he has created in me. With the teaching of the word, I have dominion over sickness and disease, I have dominion over poverty, lack, and want, I have dominion over satanic attacks and family crises, I have dominion over failure and stagnation, I will be celebrated wherever I am found, no evil will be traceable to me all through the years. My life will be a life of all-around triumph because no evil can have access to molest me any longer. This dominion will bring an end to all my struggles. 3 John verse 2. Quote. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Unquote. On our page, you will see a quote that reads, The abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This is indeed the 19th verse of our key scripture quoted in the Amplified Version, to proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. As you come in contact with the undiluted word of truth today, may the free favor of God locate and promote you in Jesus' name. Amen. The sure word for today YouTube handle is, at the sure word for today. We have a variety of playlists, and we are still adding new playlists when the needs arise. Visit the Sure Word for Today YouTube channel and find valuable personal and spiritual growth resources. Here is a list of some of our most popular YouTube playlists. Inspirational quotes from Jefferson. The Bible verse of the day. Spiritual motivation. Words of encouragement. The Sure Word for Today's audio blog post. The sure word for today's capsule. Personal and spiritual growth. Effective time management. Faith and despair. Strength and bravery. COVID-19 and coronavirus. Marriage and relationship. Conflicts and resolutions. Mental illness and recovery.
If you want to support our work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video and don't forget to share the sure word bible verse of the day. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.